he said it was English people. But when we were little like these babies here, and we were watching cartoons, and we'd see the pilgrims, how were they dressed in the cartoons? Like Quakers. Like Dutch. They had on Dutch clothing. Yeah. So that means they didn't come from England. They must have come from Holland. Now how did they get to Holland from England? Exactly. Let's say they were running. I think you guessed them, but let's say they were running. Who were they running from? King Church. What king? What king of England? It's James. King James the first. Who is King James the first? The writer of the Bible? No, he didn't write it. He authorized it. So they say. What's his last name? Do it. Tell me about his family. See, all I'm doing, all I'm, I'm not trying to really see what you know or what you don't know. All I'm trying to do is I'm trying to give you some hints at how to go and do the research. Now, if you do some research, you start finding some things out, and then it gets beyond what you believe. If we can get beyond what you believe, maybe we can start actually understanding some things finally. And above all things, get what? <laughs> Thank you. Now, let's do this first. Who's supposed to have said this? Who's supposed to have said, above all things, get understanding? Who is Shalomo? Who is Suleiman? Oh, Solomon. So did you bother to look up the word Solomon in your dictionary? If you look up the word Solomon, you look in the etymology bracket, and you see that the word is Shalomo or Suleiman. Now, if you do not find the correct name, you won't find the correct information. So if you go to the library and you study something about Columbus or Solomon, you would never get the correct information. Yeah. I was reading about the so-called black Christian, uh, Christian black holes of 1724. Wait a minute. Say it again a little louder. So I understand what you're talking about. What? Christian black holes of 1724. The Christian black codes. Now, let's do this. When you're talking about the black codes, what are we talking about? I want to ask you about the lingo because it seems like it didn't match up. No, it matches up, but you have to know exactly what we're doing so that we don't overlap nothing. Jim Crow. And get things confused. Jim Crow did not come into existence until the 1800s. He's at the black codes. We got to get way back for this. I'm sorry to hear that. Code Noir. That's the original black codes in French. See, because the word you mentioned is black in French. And see, down here in New Orleans, where it actually originated, they were using French language. And so the black codes that would become the English version of the French black codes, and then what you're talking about now is another version. So now we get one for the Christians. And it's a duplicate of the black codes that originated in Louisiana. And I noticed, and you noticed, I didn't get in it. I noticed somebody was having an argument on Facebook about something the other day dealing with Louisiana and where people know, and I didn't get in it. You know why I didn't get in it? It was nonsense. And I'm not touching nonsense. And I'm so glad that Facebook is not actually projecting nothing at these babies. And if we do that, if we take that nonsense and we project that at our children, I'll tell you what they're going to come up with later on. Nonsense. The Christian black codes, as you call them, is by the time the English take the French code noir, place it into what they call the English black codes, and then later, as these different territories are developing, and some of these territories have what they call Christian codes or laws. You understand? And then you have in these laws or areas, territories, these Christian codes or laws that some of those Christians put the English black codes, which is a duplicate of the French code noir, they put it into force in those areas. You see, because you had authority. And now whoever is in authority maybe had a theocracy in place. They were actually running this territory with Christian laws. 
And so they had Christian black codes. Now don't you find strange that you had all these areas with these Christian black codes and then your relatives actually duplicated this form of Christianity for themselves and they said they were actually practicing Christianity when in fact if you want to learn about Christianity you got to study Oriental heritage out of where? Out of Africa. But until people really start figuring this out, they're going to be all caught up. You know why I know they're going to be caught up? Because they're going to think Orientals are Chinese and Japanese, and Occidentals are white people, and y'all don't exist. Occidentals. Occidentals. Oh, I know. He said they're Occidentals. Ain't that something? You know what? Some of these kids are really getting sharp. <laughs> I like that. But we're at the Middle East, and how the Middle East came into existence. Someone wants to actually do something and to control something. Right now, they have a Near East and a Far East, so they construct a what? Now we're going to start figuring out how it came into existence. Let's figure this out. How did Jordan come into existence? What is Jordan? A nation, huh? So you know what a nation is, right? Better watch yourself. Now how about this one? Saudi Arabia comes into existence. When? When does Saudi Arabia come into existence? I think the first king of Saudi Arabia is even Saud. If I'm not mistaken, you can check in your dictionaries and encyclopedias and you can look this up. But I'm almost sure it's even Saud. First king of Saudi Arabia is even Saud. Now isn't this weird? Jordan is created and Jordan becomes a what? A kingdom. And yet this particular group of people have never had kings. Wow. Ain't that something? So where they get it from? That's right. Where did they get it from? Same place you got Christianity from. Same exact place. Some folks were actually making some stuff up, like they made up the fact that people relative to you were slaves, and you believed it. You know how I know you believed it? You know how I know you believed it? I'm asking you a question. Oh, you didn't believe it, huh? You didn't believe it? Yet all of your life you was running around talking about, I'm the descendant of what? Slave. For real, that's something. Ain't that something. Been telling on yourself all the time, and then get up and lie in the middle and say, I do those black people. Well, you just got to calling your ancestors slaves, and yet you would say you love black people. Well, who are these black people? Are they your ancestors? If those black people are your ancestors, why did you just call them slaves? I can't figure that one out. Well, they were slaves. Okay, no problem. What made them slaves? Come on. They what made them slaves? They would have had to have submitted. Wait a well, that makes a slave, that's a slave making itself. Those ones that came back in the gate. Oh, the yeah. ones that came back in the gate? Yeah. They actually, that we know for a fact the ones they the toll, decided. The toll on the ones that was running. And we know what they here. decided. Those, those and you know what? The ones who told, the ones who told on that turn. They go, boss. The ones who told yeah, on, yeah, on, yeah. on, on Jose De Lourdes. They go, boss. The ones who told on, on yeah. what's the guy down in Haiti? Two songs from the old two. tour. There he go, boss. Well, how y'all gonna make that a hero for me? How you gonna tell me the guy who said, there he go, boss, is a hero? I can't figure that one out. But that's what people were trying to do with me as a child. They told me that the Buffalo soldiers we're heroes. Right, right. So That's what they told me. Now this is weird. Buffalo soldiers killing folks look like you. Someone know how their heroes did. They were killing folks look like you. Now this is weird. And then we find folks look like him. And we say he black too, right? Damn, he look red to me. Oh no! You know what? Maybe when they saw the red man, they was actually calling him red because they thought they was looking at. The black man. And maybe y'all all caught up in some old color stuff. I wonder who designed the colors. Mm. Ain't that something? And I'm trying to get you to realize 
the the I, you know, the subjective case. Didn't that lady uh, hell in doesn't have a color. Theosophy no. Society. Did she come up with those? H. P. Blavatsky, yeah. Helena. Yeah. Yeah. Blavatsky. Right. Didn't she come up with what? The color. No yeah. sir. No sir. No, sir. Negroid. No, sir. Oh, no. no, sir. She didn't have anything to do with that. No. Nothing. Now, now, I do know there's a lot going on out here that might permeate and get to our babies. So be careful yeah. when y'all hearing that lie. Please yeah, don't repeat that lie. Right, yeah. Well, kind of, it's much later. Yeah. But there's a lie out here right now that's going around saying that theosophy is responsible for all this. Right. Theosophy is not responsible for this nonsense. I know you hear that. I know you. You haven't heard of that? I know what he's talking about. That is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, no. I've heard that. And that is just like the rest of these lies. And all I'm trying to get people like you who are serious about this stuff. Right. And all I'm trying to get people like you who are serious about this group of people that you are identifying as relative to you. Don't get all caught up in all this nonsense. That's one of the rumors that's going around. And Helena uh, Levatsky, out of Russia, had nothing to do with none of that. And as a matter of fact, right now on this planet, there are some people worried about Pakistan and India and the fact that they have the power of what? Nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons. Well, how can they be that smart? How can those people be that smart? You know, those people must have been going to school somewhere. Harvard, Yale, Princeton. Well, this is weird because most of those people were once untouchables. You see, if they had a complexion like yours, they call them untouchables. And somebody went in and actually created schools for those kids to start going to where they would not see themselves as slaves. And now there's some of the most intelligent people on the planet. Ms. Blavatsky was one of those people who helped to found those schools. Yeah. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Who was about to ask you something? Oh, Dr. Black. What? When you were saying uh, Jordan, Jordan. It was saying uh, Chief River of Palestine, throwing over to <laughs> the man south to the dead. So you better be careful about them definitions, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know you're talking about the River saying, Jordan. But I'm talking about the kingdom of Jordan. The kingdom of Jordan oh, okay. is going to be quite different than the river of Jordan. I guess. And see, what y'all going to learn about the river of Jordan is going to have you in a problem. Mm. <laughs> you might get drowned. <laughs> is Jordan still today the kingdom? The kingdom, yes. It's a kingdom. Yes. And Saudi Arabia is a kingdom. And this is weird now. The kingdom is not a part of that culture. So how did they get to become kingdoms? And wow. quiet is kept before kingdoms become or became a part of the culture that was not the Middle East. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive most of that was the area that is known today. Persia, son. Persia, not Ethiopia. And Ethiopia was not Ethiopia. Ethiopia or Ethiopia is a Greek term. The term was Abyssinia. Ethiopia is a Greek word, like Egypt is a Greek word. But don't y'all get caught up in all this old boo boo about where does Kufmet and where does Akabulan and where does this and where does that? Oh, this bunch of Negroes talking stuff. Don't know nothing. Go back and go step by step. Now, I just made a suggestion that this. The story of civilization, will and area of the want, was something that we need to all read. The only reason I made the suggestion is because I did bother to read it as a young person when I first read that Malcolm had read the whole thing. You know, when I read that he read it, I thought maybe I better read it. <laughs> if, if he would, it was good enough for him. Hey, I don't blame. Let me check it out. And. After I read that, years and years ago, I got to wondering, is this civilization what everybody making it out to be? And so then I had to start doing some research and study 
about civilizations. And then what I realized is I don't know why I got anything good to say about a civilization that has been destroying children that look like her. This is homesick. You understand? See, when they want to talk to me about terrorism, talk to me about a church bombing in Birmingham. They want to talk to me about terrorism. Talk to me about a child getting hung from a railroad track. That's right. You want to talk, you want to, talk to me about terrorism. Now, one thing that we better be careful about, because I just saw y'all put a post up about the police in San Francisco shooting somebody down. See, now, me personally, I can talk about this all day. All day. I can go from the Bronx to Brooklyn to L.A. to Oakland, Memphis. and I can start talking about people who have been getting killed every year of my life by the police. And I understand y'all think that, oh, this, they doing us like this and they doing us like that. Well, you know what I'd like for y'all to do instead of worrying about so much about how they doing us? Get your ass up and do something about it. Other than that, shut up. It's real simple. I do want to say while we on it. Uh, I just got back from Denver yesterday, and we went through Tulsa. And so I made it my business to do some research on that on that area. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. Yeah, and I, I found out now they're saying that way more people got massacred than they first. You say admitted. now they're saying that? Yeah. The research that I've been doing all the time has always said that. They have done the, uh, you know, the things they use to find You know what oil. he's talking about? Yeah. What are you talking about? Black, Black, Wall Black Wall Street? Black Wall Street is just one of the events. It is just one of the events. And now we've got to find out, what are you about to talk about the oil? What are you about to say about the oil? No, no, I was, this is what I found amazing. They say that the dollar turned over 32 times minimum in that community. Isn't that something? Now that's a part of the infrastructure that was developed after 1865. And that infrastructure actually was around up until 1965. 100 years it took to put that together. 100 years. How long did it take all to be dissolved after 1965? About maybe 10 at the most. 10 years? At the most. Well, I wonder how it happened. Somebody took that from y'all, didn't they? No. They yeah, took that from y'all, didn't they? You're tricky. No, you know what I think happened? I think y'all walked, walked away. I think y'all thought the ice was cold on the other side of town. The grass was greener. And everybody wanted to run out there. And so you ran out there so you could buy a drink at the bar. You know, because see, we couldn't buy drinks at the bar once more time. We had to bring our own bottle. <laughs> but it's okay. We're bringing our own bottle in places like Dallas. But guess what? We're bringing a bottle to it. You see, the place that we'd actually built had cherry dance floors. Cherry dance floors. Ain't that something? Behind the bar? They had their own band. Their own music, their own liquor. They had their own everything. And now all of a sudden we got a bunch of folks talking about what we ain't never had. I'm wondering what we y'all talking about. Looks like here's what I just got today. I can remember the Starlight Review and the Goodwill Review would come to Memphis. You can see Solomon 